back. Our next guest is breaking barriers on TV with a new show that's making queer story by becoming the first Canadian primetime series to have a queer, trans feminine, South Asian Muslim performer cast in the lead role. Not only that, but sort of also has one of the first non binary lead characters on mainstream North American TV. So we are so happy to welcome Bilal Beg into our studio right now. It is so good to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you. We have to forgo all the hugs in the era yeah. of COVID. You yeah. know how it is. I got it. So uh, you heard my intro. You've probably heard it a million times now. A lot of firsts for Canadian TV, a lot of firsts for you, Bilal. So let's talk about this. Your first TV project, your first TV show, uh, tell us a little bit about your journey into mainstream television. Like, how did this all come about? Oh, gosh, yeah. It's a bit of a whirlwind. I, you know, I was working in theater pretty consistently, writing plays, and it, it was my first love was to write. And so I was really lucky to be doing that and then met my co-creator, Fab Filippo, off of a play that we were both working on. And I had some questions. I was, I'm, I'm terrified. I think television <laughs> is a very scary... <laughs> Uh, medium, but I love its reach, like how many right. people we can actually reach through our stories. That's incredible. So give us a sense of what Sort Of, because it's called Sort Of, yes. what, what is it all about? Yeah, so Sort Of um, follows the character of Sebi, who yeah. I play, as they're moving through every aspect of their life changing or in, in transition, mm -hmm. that from their job to their love life to their relationship to their biological family to mm. the family that they care for as a nanny. Um, and one of the things we really loved was exploring uh, all our characters moving through some sort of transition because it actually is a human experience, a human word that we can all uh, embrace, though our transitions look different. Yes. Um, and at, at its core, the, the show is really looking at what it means to be seen by others and feel seen as well. Okay, well, let, let's talk about that topic of feeling seen. Yeah. Um, we talk a lot about representation and how representation matters. So I'm wondering, do you feel like the walls are slowly coming down when it comes to representation? Or is this a one-off mm. and we still got a long way to go? Uh, here's, this is my hot take. Yeah. I think the walls are very slowly coming down. Yeah. I, I, you know, maybe uh, I'm a little bit impatient. I'd like things to move a bit faster because yeah. we've proven time and time again that stories with this level of specificity still resonate across all communities. And so I, 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 I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm excited. I've been treated really well. I've, I've loved working on this on this project. And I just I just want more for all of us, yeah. you know, and so I think, yes, mm -hmm. but slowly, and I wish there was a little time machine that could kind of speed things up a bit. And I don't think you're alone. I think yeah. we're all a bit impatient at yeah. this point. Like, let's go, yes, right? Yes, it's working. Yeah, so. it's working, so yeah. let's go. Yeah. So I want to get this right, and I'm going to read it. Yeah. You are the co-creator, co-executive producer, co-writer, and lead star of the show. <laughs> so that's a lot of hats, right? Yeah. Um, is there a role that you prefer the most out of all those roles? I... Uh, Going back to writing being my first love, yes. I loved being in a writer's room. I had yes. never done that before. Work, working with different voices, all different ages, different yeah. relationships to sexuality and gender, yes. all in that room, working together to build the show. Mm -hmm. So moving, you know? And then I was surprised with some of the pre-production stuff, like talking about props, I found joy in... And kind of being specific about certain like cultural items that really mattered mm. to be to include in, in, in the show. That is very cool. And I, I really relate to the writing comment because I mm. think writing is when, when you're into writing, you're into writing. Yeah, yeah. OK, you also work with youth and under resourced neighborhoods. I love to hear this mm. to promote creative writing uh, and combating Islamophobia through the arts. So tell us more about that that cause and why it's close to your heart. Yeah. Um, so there are two different organizations. Story Planet is the, the one that works in under resourced neighborhoods. We deliver these high energy um, creative writing workshops that have now also transitioned into Zoom, which yeah. is still different, but it's still kind of working. Yeah. And then Rivers of Hope is the, the anti-Islamophobia work. And and for me, I, I grew up with a lot of shame as a kid, and I felt like I, I maybe wasn't valuable, or my, my voice didn't really matter, or that I should carry shame about my faith and culture and skin color and gender. And um, I just want to work to 
diminish that as much as possible. I think children are so special and powerful and amazing just as they are, and we don't need to wait for them to become adults to start respecting them. And, and so it's really important that I get to work with young people early to start to let them know that, hey, your voice does matter, and you don't have to be ashamed about any part of yourself. It's a beautiful thing because you're doing the work within your industry, but then you're doing the work within the community, and I have so much respect for that. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Yeah, yeah. So good to have you uh, here with us, and I love this conversation, Bilal. So thank you for pushing the boundaries with your art, and, and just like standing in these spaces is not easy. So you're doing it brilliantly. Well, thank you for yeah. recognizing and acknowledging that. Yes. That's that's really nice to hear. Absolutely. So here's for all of our viewers. Sort of is available to stream now on CBC Gem. Go catch it.